Hey, welcome to Elk with Anything. Today I'm continuing with the CB Performance 2017cc Engine Builder's Choice Kit. I am at the stage where I'm ready to button down and lock together the engine cases for the short block build. Before I do that, right back in part one when I was inspecting the case and cleaning it, I mentioned that I fancied the idea of painting the engine case and I couldn't really be bothered to mask it up and do all of that. And I was worried about the thermo, thermal properties of a black case. Um, well, I've had a change of heart and um, I've found the uh, time to mask it up. Uh, and it took um, a long time to do it and do it well. And I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm not so worried about the thermal properties because um, Obviously black um, radiates heat really well, so it might actually help. Um, so I am going to paint it and the weather is, I wouldn't say warm, but it's definitely over 11 degrees, just about, I'd say it's more like 13, 14 degrees. So it's just about warm enough to paint. And I have to paint outside because I'm not painting in here. I've got painted pan and other bits and pieces. I don't want to get overspray on. So it has to be done outside. Um, so let's have a look at the case. So here's the case with loads of bits of masking tape all over it. Um, I've placed on components like the oil pump, fuel pump rather, block off thing and traced it out and made it a little bit wider so there'll be a little bit of bare magnesium once it clamps on but the mating surface for all of these sorts of things. I've kept that because that's a nice machine surface. I've kept that where the um, dizzy clamp goes and the other mating surfaces I have masked off masking these was a bit of a laugh. Um, I put some old cap head screws in there, which I don't want to keep. Don't mind getting those covered in paints. Uh, masking this um, push rod tube area off was a bit of a laugh as well. Um, crank, um, oil pump, um, and then I put. Um, old um, bolts and stuff in all the threads. I made some gaskets, so I basically traced around where the Type 3 dipstick goes. And what I've done is I cut it out of a piece of cardboard and then I covered it with um, double-sided sticky tape, industrial style stuff, and then stuck that down so no paint that's properly stuck on there. Um, I did the same underneath for the um, oil drain plate, um, even though all this is going to be hidden underneath the slimline sump, I um, still want it to be nice. Uh, I've covered up all the um, bolts, nuts rather, with a uh, masking, and then I've put old washers on, so that once it's um, painted there will be some bare uh, magnesium around where the actual proper washers go. These aren't the actual washers. These are the actual nuts, because I haven't got any nuts with the right pitch to do that, so I've actually used those. And then to save my um, stainless, nice stainless nuts, which I've used to bolt the case up with, I've covered them with masking tape. All the studs, which are already in the case, are all protected. So that's all of the masking, and there's a lot of it. I mean, it took a long time. Uh, the um, kit comes with um, a plug for your, this is a, full flow setup it comes with a, a brass plug in case you don't want to run full flow so i'll just put that in i don't mind if that gets covered in paint i can always clean it up in thinners later if i want and um, so what i need to do now is i'm going to mask off the whole of the back of the case where it attaches to the bell housing so um, i'm going to do that now and then we'll talk about the paint i'm going to use so there's the flywheel area of the motor all masked up so we get paint up to this edge here and then where it meets the gearbox there'll always be magnesium and all magnesium inside. So when it comes to painting an engine case that's made of magnesium what paint do you use? Well I've done a little bit of research well I've done quite a lot of reading over the last few months and you obviously well not obviously but you need to you can't just like prime it and paint it you need to etch prime it so etch prime is uh, an acidic based primer 
which eats into the surface of the metal um, and forms a good bond with the surface you're painting. Now, U-Pole etch primer is apparently very good. Um, I couldn't get any, I can only get it in rattle cans, so I'm gonna rattle can it uh, and I'm gonna give it two coats, um, so not too much. 20 minutes between each coat, shake the can for t uh, two minutes, standard rattle can procedure. I've done a lot of rattle can spraying before I got myself a compressor. So I'm confident I'm gonna, um, also gonna, oh, I've got a mask disc. I'm also gonna paint the alternator stand. So I've got a mask up where the oil breather box goes. And I'll probably mask up the base as well. And then top coat, black, satin black, two pack. Um, it's an acrylic two pack and there are no, I went to the manufacturer's website and there are no specs for heat resistance on their paint. Um, I tried calling them up, but I couldn't get through. Uh, I did some further research on two pack paint and it can withstand 160 to 190 degrees C. So it should be okay on the engine case which I believe gets up to about 120 and a bit above um, from the little bit of research I've done. Um, spoken to um, a few people about it and they say, yeah, two pack paint should be fine for the engine case. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I paint this this evening, the temperature's dropping, so I better get a move on. And then I'm gonna leave it to harden um, or dry over 24 hour period and then tomorrow I will two-pack paint it and then we will leave it for about a week before we start messing around with it again. Although I'll probably lose my patience and just start building up the short block before then. But it won't be fully hard for about a week. I mean, if I had a big enough oven, I could put it in the oven, an oven and bake it. Um, but I haven't. And it's not hot enough to put out in the sun because there is no sun because it's London in April. So let's get into spraying it with the edge primer. Alternator stands, two coats of the U-Pole edge primer. Engine case, two coats of etch primer. It's a really nice finish, I'm really happy with that. So we're gonna be applying a two pack acrylic black satin car paint. I just bought this off eBay. I've used it on a bunch of tins before engine tins and stuff, it comes up quite nice. It's super resilient, resistant to petrol, um, a certain amount of heat, um, it's pretty good stuff. Pretty easy to apply. Um, I always find mixing <laughs> mixing the right quantity is kind of hard, pouring it out of the uh, pots and stuff. So it's two parts of this to one part hardener and then I add a little bit of the thinners. It's made by a company called Jowl. 10% um, of the thinners, just to thin it down. I'm using a gravity feed gun. It's a cheap one. Trigger's a bit notchy. Um, I have this regulator screw dialed all the way out. Um, you have the paint screw here up um, and you have the fan screw here. I have those pretty dial pretty much dialed out just to get a full full fan. I take pretty good care of it every time I use it. I clean it and soak it in thinners and then put it away so it's ready to use next time. Here it is can I still be mixing it just simply screws on top. Uh, there's I am pretty bad at paint. <laughs> I don't profess to be um, even mildly good at it, but um, as you'll see, my technique is god awful. Um, I always, before I do painting, I always brush up. I watch, uh, and I put a link to this in the comments below um, to an Eastwood 
clip that's been online for years and years, um, which is like the basics of painting a car. And it talks about gun setup and technique and stuff like that. And it's very, very handy. So if you're gonna have a go, one of these things, it's definitely worth watching that video. Right, let's mix the paint. So I start by putting some paint in. Um, hopefully this will be enough to do two coats on everything. Maybe I should mix up a bit more. I can always mix up more. But yeah, so you fill it up to the two line and then you fill the hardener up to the one line and then you have percentage marks for thinners and I'll do roughly 10%, maybe a little bit more. Um, not because I think I should have a little bit more, but because I'm just shit at pouring it. I'm gonna add the hardener. It's a fast one, it comes with a fast one, um, it, which means it does dry quicker. Confidence here, look at that. There we go. Then a dash of thinner. Made a complete mess. A little bit more. There you go. Just a little bit more than 10%, as I say. Not because I think it needs it, just because I'm shit at pouring it. Then I mix it all up. Pour it into the gun. You need to make sure that the air hole on these gravity feed guns is clear and clean. Ready to go. When working with these paints, obviously I wear a proper respirator mask and I also wear eye protection to stop any particles getting into my eyes. Really important. So I think you're supposed to put like a dust coat on first and then put a heavier coat on second, but I can never resist putting quite a heavy coat on first and then an equally heavy coat on afterwards. Um, I seem to get mildly good results like that. Maybe I should persevere and try a dust coat first. Anyway, give it 20 minutes to flash off and we'll give it another coat and then we just leave it to cure. I'm probably going to supposed to leave it for about a week to really harden but um, I won't be able to resist bolting together the short block before then so anyway into the second coat so this is after two coats it's been drying for a couple of hours now um, I took the masking off when the paint was still soft making it easier but as you can see somewhere some of the washers were the masking wasn't great and pulled some of the paint off with it. Around the cylinder bores, again, it's not the neatest piece of masking you've ever seen. Um, push rod tubes, again, all a bit, a little bit tatty. Once it's bolted together, you won't see any of that. Some of these gaskets I made with the double-sided tape came out nice. Oil sump, looks really nice. The paint's come out really nice here. You can see where I've the bypass and oil pressure relief valves kept the mating surfaces clean. And obviously, there well, not obviously, but there's going to be an additional oil sump on top of this. So you'll never even see this. It's a shame because that looked nice underneath the car. So, engine case painted, even though I did say I wasn't going to bother doing that. Um, but I'm pleased I have now because it's going to look really nice when it's all built up. Um, with the black CB uh, performance um, components and then the cast um, aluminium components against the black. It's going to look really nice. Now I'm starting to think, am I going to start detailing the breather box? Am I going to paint in let manifolds? I don't think I am. So um, anyway, it's going to look really good. I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching.